Today, we're doing solving trigonometric proofs made easy using the manipulation list, right? Which is a special strategy I invented, right? So let's look, today, first off, we're gonna go over this special strategy for solving trig proofs, the process, then we're gonna go over a mid-range question for solving trig identities, and if you stick to the end, we're gonna go over a hard question for solving trig identities, right? So if you're doing higher level maths, make sure you stick to the end to see that. All right, so what is this manipulation list and how does it work? Well, pretty simple steps. So first, you're gonna pick a side that has more info to manipulate, right? This makes it easy to work with. So with the left hand or right hand side, which we'll see in part two, all right? So next, we're gonna write down the manipulation list on the side of the question. So what's the manipulation list? So it's E, F, A slash S, S. E stands for expanding, F stands for factorize, A slash S, add or subtract fractions, S is simplified or substitute identities, right? So when we're doing proof type questions, these are the four basic manipulation tools we have, right? So what we do then is, when we go from one line to the next, we're gonna go through this list and pick what can I do, right? That's how simple this is. And the key is we're gonna write this on the side because instead of having to think in your head, what can you do? You have it written down. So just note, from going from one step to the next, you can always do at least one of these. Right? So having this on the side of the question will help you a lot because you know you have something you can do. Now, the only problem is substrate identity. You, got, you have to know all your identities for the truth. If you don't, this process is not going to help because you're going to get to a step where you have to substrate identity, but if you don't know which identity, um, then you're going to be um, stuck for that question. So make sure you know all your trick identities or have them in front of you when you're practicing to make this process really simple. So now let's look at how we apply this list for a mid-range question. All right, so part two, let's look at solving a mid-range level question. So we want to prove one on one plus sine theta plus one on one minus sine theta equals two sec squared theta. So if you're doing, say, year 10, year 11, or a pre-calculus course, this is the kind of question you might see. So what do we do first? Well, we're going to pick the side that has more to work with or more to manipulate, which is this side. This has way more we can work with than just a single term. So let's write down the left hand side. Next, let's in a corner here, separate, so not direct, we don't want to interfere with the work, let's write our manipulation list. E, F, A, slash, S, and S. So equals, right, so when we do proof questions, we work with one side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through this list and find the first thing I can do, or the simplest thing I can do. So you ask yourself, can I expand? There's no brackets here to expand, so no. Nah. Factorize, um, no common factors, add or subtract fractions. Well, what do you know? I've got two fractions I can add. So therefore I can do that one straight away. Now I'm gonna leave a link at the top here in the card to show you a video I did on adding fractions fast. Even though it was with um, simple fractions, it's the same process here. So if we wanna add fractions fast, what we do is we cross multiply, right? So we times numerator one with denominator one. So one times that is just one minus sine theta plus one times the other denominator. One minus, oh, that's a plus sine theta. And on the bottom, we just times the denominator together in brackets. All right, so let's go to the next step. So obviously, whenever you have like terms, that, that's a part of S, simplify. So simplify your like terms, okay? So one plus one is two, Minus sine theta plus sine theta is gone, right? So that's just two. Now, you can do two steps in one. You don't have to just do that. And then, what we, because let's work with the bottom, right? Now, in this current form, this does look nothing like sex squared theta. So, what can we do with this? If we look at the list, straight away expand. I've got brackets and I can expand. But here's another trick one plus sine theta, one minus sine theta. You'll notice. It's in the form x plus y, x minus y. That's a difference of two squares. You learned that in year nine, or maybe earlier. So that's just one square, which is one, minus sine squared. Equals. So let's go through the list again. Can I expand anything? No, factorize. Technically I can factorize that, but that negates this step. Right, so you're not gonna factorize. You're not gonna negate the previous step you just did, so nothing to factorize. Add or subtract fractions. Well, it's a single fraction, I can't add anything. So that means straight away I'm left with x. Right? I have to 
simplify or substitute an identity. There's nothing to simplify, so this is where I have to su I, I have to substitute an identity. There's nothing else I can do here, right? That's why this list is good because it rules out everything. So what identity do I use? Well, this is where, as I said earlier, you need your trig knowledge here. So one minus sine squared. Well, cos squared plus sine squared theta equals one. So if you rearrange that identity, this is just cos squared theta. Right, easy. And next line, again, if we go through this, can't expand, nothing to factorize, single fraction, can't add any. We're left with substitute an identity again. But this is where you look at the answer to help you now. So we're really close. We've got cos single term here, single term in the answer. So you're just thinking, how do you go from cos squared to sec squared? Well, sec theta is one on cos theta. So straight away, that is just two sec squared theta, which equals the right hand side. Okay? So you can see with this list, this question is a lot easier because I, I knew I had what to do at each step, or I had a menu to pick from, right? It's a lot nicer when we have a menu to pick from. So you stuck to the end now, let's go to part three and look at a hard question. Part three, so if you stuck here, probably doing some high level maths, right? So let's look at this example. Prove sine two theta minus cos two theta plus one over sine two theta plus cos two theta minus one equals 10 brackets 45 plus theta. So this requires some uh, more advanced trigonometry formulas. So let's start the process. Let's write our list down. But just as a precursor, now trying to go from, you notice these are double angles here, to a compound angle is near impossible. So what I would recommend is, if you don't have a compound, um, as the answer is to expand the compound, right? So this, if you, if you use a compound formula, is 1045 plus 10 theta over one minus 1045, 10 theta, and you remember 1045 is just one. So straight away, this is an advanced strategy, which I'll do a video on later, is we can rewrite the question and make it easier to prove. Right, so that's a strategy you can have in mind, but I'll do a whole video on that later. Right, so now we want to prove this equals that, because this is that. So that's a lot easier to prove this instead of that. So if we start with the left-hand side, why would we do the left-hand side? Because I'll tell you now, Going from theta to two theta is a lot harder than two theta to theta, right? Because we have double angle formulas that take two theta to theta. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna substitute, well, if we go through the list, can you expand anything? No, factorize, no common factors. Add or subtract fractions, no, because it's a single fraction. So we're left with substitute identities. And this is where we need to know our knowledge for our double angle formulas. Now, sine's easy because there's only one option. 2 sine theta cos theta minus 2 cos, cos 2 theta. Now, this is an annoying one because cos 2 theta has three different options, right? But the trick with cos 2 theta is to pick the one that makes your life easier. Now, notice here we've got a plus 1. And cos 2 theta, there's two formulas that have a 1. If I write them on the side here, cos squared minus 1 or 1 minus 2, right? So two formulas introduce a 1. So that means if I pick the right formula, that one will disappear. So you think because there's a minus in front, that will change it to a plus one. So plus one, plus one, nah, that just makes it plus two. But minus here turns that into minus one, plus one is zero. So straight away, you're gonna substitute this formula in because it's gonna cancel the one. So we put it in, it's minus one, plus two sine squared theta, plus one, right? Because the minus changes the sign, and we do the same for the bottom. So sine two theta only has one formula. Again, we've got minus one, right? And a plus here. So we think if we minus one here, that's minus two, but if we minus one here, that's gone. So we're using this formula again. So that's a simple trick for dealing with cos two theta, know which one you want, and I'll probably do another video on that later if people want that. So now the ones are gone. And what you'll notice is, let's just cancel them out there so I can because I'm running out of space here. So now let's go through this. Can you expand anything? No. Can you factorize? Yes. Because look at here, I've got two, it's a common factor, and sine theta. Same on the bottom. Two and a sine theta. So if I take that out, we're left with 
this. I want you to notice these are exactly the same, so they cancel out. So that's great. So this looks a lot better now, right? So to get to the next one, let's go through the list. And always keep an eye on the answer. Can you expand? Well, no, because they're gone, so there's just single terms. Factorize, no. Again, no common factor between these two. Add a subtract fraction. No, it's in a single fraction. So we're left with substitute identity. So the trick here is what I need to use is to look at the answer. I've got cos, sine, and the answer has tan. So you need an identity that relates all those, which is just a very basic identity, tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta, right? So there's a really nice trick we can do to get the answer in one step, right? This is more of an advanced trick, right? So if you've stayed this long, you're gonna get a nice special trick. So you notice tan theta equals sine theta and cos theta. So that means to get tan theta here, I'd have to divide that by cos theta. And same with that. So what we're gonna do is actually divide each term individually by cos theta. Because what happens, what's cos theta divided by cos theta? It's one, because anything divided by itself is one. What's sine theta divided by cos theta? It's tan theta, which is what I've just written there. And we get the exact same thing on the bottom because it's the exact same as the top with a minus. And we get the right hand side done. Right? So if you're stuck to this part of the video, uh, I'd like to thank you because you're going to learn some really great tricks if you're doing high level maths, right? So what I'm planning to do is every Wednesday is upload a video chosen by you or people from my free maths help group, right? So if you want to have a say in what video I upload every Wednesday, um, I'd let, I'll leave a link in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. If you're watching this, that means you watched the whole video. And I'd like to thank you for watching the whole video and hope you learned lots, right? Now, if you did learn lots, make sure to, to subscribe, right? Right down in the corner here is a button, right? I'll be uploading up to five videos a week. That's plenty of awesome content for you to learn from, right? If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button right there, somewhere around here, and comment below what you'd like to see in future video, right? And lastly, make sure to share with your friends so everyone can learn, and they will thank you.